Alright, so this is going to be a short video on how to implement the inventory system from the RPG Concepts video that I made last time. So I have the code here um, that I worked on. So this is exactly what you saw in that video. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a new folder. We'll call this items. And in it we're going to have, let's see, we're going to have item, and then we'll have a new file, and I'll leave for the container. So we're going to copy the item in there, save that, and then the container, grab all that, and there you go, okay. Um, container.py, okay. And then also uh, in here, we need to recognize that this is a module. So we need to go ahead and add a new .py. Alright, so you don't need that. And this is all going to be unchanged for now. Don't need that anymore. So we need to go ahead and import this into the player file. And so we're going to do an absolute import. So we're going to say, from items dot container import all. So instead of putting a dot in front of it, which is a relative import, which means from this this folder right here, this is what that's referencing, um, we're going to import character. So instead of doing that, it goes to the top and say, it says from, from the RPG level, go to items and then go to container and get everything that's inside of here. So if that makes sense. So that's that's all we're doing. And then we need to change this over to a container. We'll just call that inventory. And that's that's actually all you need to implement this. And I'll go ahead and run it. And you can see no errors or anything. No, it's still working. So, um, let's go ahead and let's write an inventory command, just a little basic one. So we'll go over here, open this up. So let's go ahead and we'll add this. Let's add this here. We'll call it inv. And we'll call the function. Oh. Okay. Alright. Um, so we're going to call that inv. player args pass for now that should all be working ok so we're going to say um, for item and player dot inventory we just want to print the item and let's go ahead and we'll print the item oops we need to do item dot name item dot quantity as well and let's put a, um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's just put a little X in there. Actually, this would be a good time to use format. Even better. Times one. Oops. Not Russian. <laughs> um, we want to go ahead and, and format that with the variables. So it goes from the zeroth element to you know whatever how many you have. So the first one will substitute with this, the second one will substitute with that, etc. So item dot name and item dot quanti quantity. But this this is um this is preferred over other stuff. If you really want to do some easy formatting, but still use variables. This is I I always use this instead of substitution just because it's so much e easier. It's incredible. Anyways, um, that should be working. Let's go ahead and try it out. Uh, we'll just say blah. Why? Okay. Inv. So we have nothing in our inventory. And for testing purposes, let's go ahead and just make some items that you get. Actually, let's just go ahead and just M to start with. Um, so these will just be dummy items for now, I guess. 
What should we do? Let's do a potion. It's a good example. Okay. So, be a potion. Say it's worth five. We got two of those. And let's say we have a magical wizard. Um, and that's, I mean, that, that's got to be at least 900,000. Of course, there's only one of those. Okay, um, so player.inventory.add potion, um, can we add multiple items? This is something I do not remember. Let me go ahead and see. Um, no, we cannot, okay, that will be for a different video. Um, but I may do that in the future so that you can add multiple items, but for now, uh, this will have to suffice. So I'll go ahead and add those in. And let's go back and check. Item is not defined. Yeah, we need to import it. So, same thing in here from items.container. Actually, we only need item. There you go. Run it. Uh, blah. Yes. Okay, inventory. Tuple object has no attribute name. Okay. So item dot name. Let's go ahead and see. Comment this out and let's just print item. Let's see what it's actually doing. Blah why. Inventory. Okay. Ah, I see what it's doing here. Okay. Um, so it's it's returning a tuple, which is not quite what we want. Let's see. How can we getting it from either items? Oh, now I remember how you do it. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, I always forget name comma item. That that's that's important. <laughs> um, okay. Yes. Okay, there we go. So we have two potions and we got one magical lizard. That is what we expect. And that that looks good. Um, so this this is gonna kind of set the stage for what we're going to do next, which hopefully, if I can figure something out, will be weapons and armor. Um, so that'll be fun. And after that, I'm not sure what we'll do, but I'll figure something out. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you later.